skater squats. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. One, you can actually use a counterbalance with a weight to extend your arms forward. Um, you can also do this with body weight or you can hold a weight on either side. So I'm going to start by showing you guys uh, what it's going to look like if I was holding a weight in front of me to help to counterbalance. So I'm going to have some sort of a surface that I'm going to drop my knee onto. In this case, it's two yoga blocks. I'm going to hold that weight with my arms. Shoulders are pinched back. My standing leg is slightly bent. Uh, picking up this free leg so that I can move it backwards. So I'm basically going to think about really tucking my pelvis under here. Um, extending my arms forward, driving my back knee, and then driving through that hip, squeezing glutes and abs at the top. So we're really trying to find that big reach of the hips, and sometimes using this uh, counterbalance with reaching the arms forward is what can really help us to get down a little bit deeper and really get that big stretch of the glute. If you want to increase the challenge, <laughs> then you're gonna wanna hold on to a weight and again, you can play around with whether you want to hold it on the side of the working leg or the opposing leg. Sometimes I like to start with the opposing leg because it helps me to counterbalance. So same thing here, we're going to drop, really find that bigger stretch, and then squeeze forward. So in this position, you want to make sure that your lower abs are really engaged. So we're not starting with an anterior pelvic tilt, we're really engaging the lower abs and glutes so that we can extend that back leg and then you really maximize the contraction of the glute and squeezing everything at the top. So those are our skater squats.